Man, it's so hot out here. This heat and the humidity, it's the humidity. The humidity makes me want to really, you know, just relax and sleep. I really don't want to be going out, but I'm doing this to, uh, uh, you know, uh, to to uh, do a moto vlog and to answer one of the questions. But I feel like I should be like a cat, you know? They like to just lie around and do nothing. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask Father D. Let us begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you uh, to watch over us and protect us always. Uh, help us to grow in love of you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. So today, uh, I'm not going to talk about anything theological, or hopefully not, but there are two things, two questions that came up. One, uh, they're both anonymous. One of them just asked, talk about my cats and only cats, <laughs> you know, so today I'm going to entertain that one. And I thought maybe because, uh, you know, everything's so serious and everyone's down, l let's just uh, talk about my cats. So maybe you know or you don't know, but I have two cats. Um, uh, one is uh, uh, Serena, who is a uh, calico, and Hibiscus, who is a uh, uh, tabby. Um, and you know, most of the time, I'm uh, they weren't mine to begin with. I knew them when they were kittens a long time ago, over over 12, 13 years ago, maybe even 14 years ago. Uh, my best friend uh, had rescued them, and they were just little kittens. And uh, and uh, you know, so they knew who I was. They knew they they knew me, and I knew who they were. And uh, and what happened was uh, when I got a couple years before coming to or a year before coming to St. Monica's uh, I was sitting and chatting with my friend and I had just baptized his last son and uh, they were talking about how you know um, at the time there were uh, three three children a dog and two cats and uh, they were looking to get rid of the cats but you know my best friend grew up uh, with cats and, uh, and you know, I, I, he had asked me and I said, you know, if I was ever a pastor, maybe I would consider taking on uh, the responsibility of ha owning cats and maybe possibly. And uh, a few months later, uh, I was actually um, uh, made the pastor of St. Monica's. So he had asked me whether or not um, I, I, I would still be considering it. And I said, sure, no problem. And so those cats, uh, both uh, Serena and Hibiscus, uh, they, uh, they came to live with me. And automatically when they came in, they were a little, um, you know, a little cautious with their surroundings because it's something new. But uh, they were really friendly with me already. Uh, so they knew uh, I was going to feed them. They knew I wouldn't hurt them. And they just came when I called them because they knew me. Um, yeah, and, uh, so cats, these cats, they just like to lie around and do nothing. And sometimes, like today, it's pretty hot and humid. I feel like I should be like those cats and just lie around and, uh, 
you know, and they they like they like the attention. So when people come, they like attention. They don't. Uh, they like to be pet. They like, um, you know, they like to be pet, and they like to, uh, they like you to feed them for sure. They, <laughs> they always want to have more food. Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess they take take after me. Uh, but uh, yeah, and they they sleep with me. Um, they come in my my bed. They they they. Um, you know, there, there's something pretty cool about cats and how cats can um, kind of sense things. Uh, like my cats, they kind of sensed when, before my couple heart attacks, they kind of knew something was wrong or I was physically ill because they just wouldn't, they would just every single day for the week, they would just pound on my door to come and sleep with me. And then when they slept with me, you know, normally one sleeps by my foot and one sleeps by my head. Um, but they were like actually cuddling right up next to me, right by my, right beside me, putting their, like, cuddling right next to me, which they don't normally do. And I thought it was pretty weird. Um, but yeah, so they can sense things, or at least it seems like they can sense things. But this leads me to um, the second question, which is, uh, the second question is, uh, do cats serve God? And I think when you really think about it and you think about, uh, you know, um, you think really about um, how all creation serves God in and of itself, that God had created, just like a, a painting that an artist paints, right? It serves the painter in the beauty that it, it holds, right? And so in, in every, I guess in a sense, all creatures, all of the universe, everything that's created, that God creates, serves God in its, in its beauty just by being, being there. Uh, certainly, God uh, created the animals and uh, uh, gave us stewardship over them. And certainly, uh, they bring us uh, comfort, they bring us food, they bring us joy, they bring us the uh, help and stuff like that and companionship, um, you know, and so certainly they do, in serving us, they are serving God also. But here's the funny thing that uh, we sometimes forget is that in animals being itself so sometimes i get uh you know get kind of upset i know that uh cats are just cats and dogs are just dogs so whenever i go over to my cousins or my sisters the dogs always jump up on me or or my friend father donatello his dog jumps up on me and sometimes they rip my clothes and stuff but you know animals are animals um they don't intend to do it. They're joyful. They're, they want to see me, so I understand that. And my cats are the same way. Uh, you know, there's just certain things that are natural to them. Um, but we don't really, <clears throat> you know, like uh, they will sometimes uh, throw up their hairballs and then I have to clean it up, right? And uh, it's always in the same spot and it's always like places like in front of my door, in front of my office. You know, it's always places where I could see it to clean it up. Um, but even them being themselves like that somehow gives glory to God because they're just being what they're meant to be. Nothing different. They're fulfilling what God had designed them to be. And in that, you know, they're serving God. Um, Revelation 5 uh, ch chapter 5, yeah, verse uh, 13 to 14 states this. Uh, I, I might be wrong. I'll put up the quote, but I might be slightly off. But it says something like, um, Then I heard, this is John, uh, John speaking, um, the, the writer of the Re Revelation. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea, um, crying or crying or singing to the one seated on the throne and to the lamb be blessed and honor and glory and might forever and ever um 
And then the 14th talks about the four living creatures said Amen and the elders fall down and worship. But the, the writer of Revelation um, is talking about how then he heard every creature in heaven and earth. So like the angels, um, but also on heaven and on earth. So cats are creatures and uh, it would fall under that category. So uh, they too give glory to God, right? So they're all singing or saying to the one seated on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever. So all creation glorifies God when they are being what they're meant to be. And that kind of kind of uh, we can take a lesson of that so even though I might not like if a cat scratches my door scratches my my um, my my chair and stuff like that I might not like it but the cat is just being a cat uh, when a dog when he runs and he pees on the lawn or poos on the lawn the dog is just being a dog but in the dog being a dog, what it's meant to be, it is glorifying God. That, we can learn a lot about that because if we find out what we are called to be as Christians, as children of God, then we glorify God even more. Uh, thank you. Today, I know I ended off being a little bit more theological, but today, as you know, I just spoke more about my cats. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed both my cats, Serena and uh, Hibiscus. And thank you very much. And don't forget, if you wanna, if you wanna ask any questions, just uh, click on the description um, below and then uh, on the link below in the description. And we'll see you next time.